hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for tuning in i do have a very very nice and exciting video for you guys today i will be reviewing morphe's and jeffree star collaboration today i was so happy that i was able to find the brushes and the sponges so please please stay tuned so that you can see how this collaboration worked out for me and please don't leave without first subscribing to my channel clicking the notification bell and commenting down below if you got yours your hands on it or if you wish you had or if you ordered it online or you went to the store let me know in the comments down below um so stay tuned to see what these products had in store for me because um this is my final product so stay tuned and watch the review bye all right you guys so we're gonna go ahead and jump right into this because i am super excited to film this review so let's go ahead and get it out of the bag super excited got just a few stuff here that i want you to try out i've never used morphe products ever before i have used jeffree star products but this is his newest launch or his newest collaboration with morphe so i was able to find it in store since the day that it launched i was too late and they had sold out so here is the brush set morphe x jeffree star collaboration super cute and i also did pick up the three piece sponges the sponge trio so i'm super excited to use this i love this little a makeup bag super cute let's go ahead and open it up i like to use oh i like how it opens i like to wash my brushes first before i use them but i'm gonna be naughty today and um, not wash them before i use them i think i am going to wet the sponge before i do use it though i've never used absolutely any morphe products so this is my first time i'm super excited this is a completely honest review have no affiliation whatsoever they are all individually wrapped super cute comes with seven brushes and let me just unravel them because I cannot wait. Ooh, it's nice and soft. I did get a chance to fill them in store, but they were kind of janky. They were all like, oh no, they didn't feel that great in store, but these kind of feel good. This highlight brush feels kind of decent. This one, JS6, I'm not quite sure how I feel about that, but we're gonna give it a try. I'm gonna give them all a try. I like this one. They're super pretty. I just, I got them because I, I'm actually a big Jeffree Star supporter. And I like them like collectibles just to put them in a nice clear jar. You know, as a display. Super excited. Um, let's open up the sponges. So I don't even know what kind of look I'm going to go for today, to be quite honest. I really don't. I just want to try them out. Um not really sure what colors i'm gonna use on the lids but i'll try to go for something neutral i don't know here they are they're kind of dense these remind me of the real techniques sponges i do have one right here it's i just use it's kind of dirty not exactly the same but it does have that edge to it this has a double edge double-sided edge and this is the big one. Oh, this is double-sided edge too. It is very dense actually. I do have the beauty blender. Sorry, it's been used so they're dirty right now. I used it earlier. Very, very soft and it's not even wet. So we're going to see how this feels while it's wet. So I'm going to go ahead and wet this and I'll be right back. All right, so I did wet the sponges and they did expand actually quite a bit. I wasn't too sure they were going to expand. Make sure I bring them out completely have a trash can under here so it actually did expand very significantly i left one un 
done so that you can see the difference so yeah it did expand very nicely and i think we're just gonna go ahead and jump into this i did pull up jeffrey's video of his um reveal of his launch just want to see like i don't remember exactly what he used his stuff his brushes for sorry so we're gonna see what he uses his brushes for so that i know what to use them for does that make any sense um i think i'm gonna start with my base i normally never start with my base unless i'm just doing mascara foundation powder and lipstick but today we're gonna start with a base so i'm excited i'm gonna use a drugstore foundation it's actually my current favorite i am in the color 128 some in my palette here running low i did prime prep my face before i started this video because my skincare regimen it could be a little time consuming so i did that off camera so that we could just jump into the video so i think i'm gonna do half of my face with with the sponge or i don't know if i should just do the whole face <laughs> Because I kind of want to try this as a foundation brush, but I don't feel like it's dense enough. So I kind of want to do powder. Mm, I don't know. Somebody help me. <laughs> Let's just fast forward this um, video to see what he uses that for. But I know for sure I'm going to use the sponge for my foundation. So I got some foundation on my palette here. I know it's dirty. I just used it earlier because I had to take a shower wipe my makeup off and do it again for this video so he's still talking about the brushes but i want to see him go in using them you know what i think i'm just gonna go ahead and do it my way because i don't want this video to be extra long so i'm gonna go in with the sponge here like i said i it's wet picking up some product I do like the edge like this because it allows you to get all up in the crevices, girl. And if you want to, like, you know, I don't know, clean the, when it gives you, like, a sharp angle for your, girl, you know what I mean, for your eyeshadows. Nice cleanup. This is really nice and really nice chiseled um, bake. So... So far, so good. I do like how it applies on the skin. I want to use the other side of it. This is really nice. I like the feeling of this sponge. It disperses the product very nicely, actually. You can get all up in the crevices of your nose. Very, very nicely. I feel like I'm going to need another layer. I feel like it did suck up quite a bit of product. But we are going to try this brush here. Let's try it as foundation. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's okay with wet products. I don't feel like it's dense enough. But, I mean, so far, it's applying the product nicely. I don't see really any streaks i might have to get a little close up here but we'll see right now oh i see some streaking in the nose area but not too bad actually i feel like i got more coverage um with the brush so i might have to just finish this side off with a brush so that I can get a better coverage. Not too bad though. See how it like kind of sheared out this area here on the cheek with a brush. So I feel like I need more product but I'm just going to leave it alone because I am going to conceal. So we're going to go ahead and uh, just leave that area alone and conceal whatever needs to be concealed. Okay, I'm going to be using ColourPop's concealer in 
the color, I don't know, because it <laughs> doesn't have the number, but it's one of the light shades. I don't remember what number it is. I'm sorry. I'm going to go ahead and highlight. And I'm going to use the small sponge underneath the eye. And we'll see how that blends. Sorry about the background noise. Okay, so I think the sponge did a very, very nice job at blending the concealer. Actually looks really, really good. Very, very nicely blended. Okay. I see you, little spongy sponge. Not too bad. I am I'm going to have to blend this a little bit more, though, because I'm going to add a contour and I have to set my face before it starts creasing so let me get my powder all right i'm going to go ahead and use my handy dandy setting powder and set underneath the eyes and the lids before they start creasing up more oh, i forgot to blend it before i applied the powder it's all good okay Blend it. See that crease right there? Blend it before you set. All right. Oops. All right. I'm going to set the rest of the face in just a little bit. Look at my nose. Oh, my God. Really, Liz? Went a little overboard there. Okay. Look at it. Got all over my shirt. So, I'm going to use... This Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette, and I'm going to use brush JS3. I do remember him using this for his contour, so I'm just going to go in here with a couple of colors here. I don't feel like it's picking up much, but let's see. Let me place this, okay. Felt like it wasn't picking up any of the product, but it is. So, let me put this down. Got to get the five head. Feels good. Feels like it's blending it nicely. But I kind of want to go in with a sponge and blend it. We'll see right now when I'm done blending this part here. Oh yeah, it's actually blending it very nicely. Look at that. It's not like blotchy, streaky. Wow, okay. That's a very nice quality brush there. Very, very nice. Okay, going to have to clean this up here, but so far so good. This is a nice, very nice contour brush. And I'm using a cream contour. I'm sure it'll work just fine as well with a powder contour. Let me dust off the bake on the nose so I can work on the nose. And I'm using the brush JS2. Let me dust all this off here. This feels really nice. Okay. Very soft. Very nice. Yes, this is really nice to dust off your bake. Let's work on the nose a little bit. I feel like this is too big for the nose. So I am think I'm going to go in with this one here, which I know is a, uh, an eye brush, but I'm going to use it for the nose, JS six and 
let's see what it does. <laughs> Might have picked up a little bit too much, but I'm going to go ahead and use this for the nose for a more precise contour. Yeah, I picked up way too much product. So I'm just laying it down with that brush. And I'm going to go in with the sponge, this one here to kind of blend that out with the edge, the flat edge there. Do the same on this side. And then I'm going to go in with this pointy part and just blend that as well. Go back with the brush. Actually, I do like this for a nose contour. Not too bad. I know you can use this for your eyes. I think this is nice because it's kind of dense. This is nice to pack the lid, but I don't remember what he used it for in his video. So let's go in and blend this. And I'm going to go in with powder to set the contour. So I'm going to go in with this brush, actually, to set the contour. And this is, like I mentioned, JS2. Whoa, excuse me. I'm going to go in with this Tarte palette here and then just set the contour so it doesn't crease up either. It's not as dense as I would like for contour brush. So I probably won't use this to contour. I do like it to dust off my bake though, that's for sure. I like more of a dense brush to, to use a, to set the contour. But it's not too shabby, not too shabby. I'm going to go back in with the sponge to chisel out the contour there, just in case I got any discrepancies, any imperfections. See how nicely that cuts the, the contour? Oh, so, so nice. Super easy. Very effortlessly. I don't have much powder left, so having a little bit of a harder time applying it, but no, this is, this is nice. And I can use that or this for more precise bake to just go down the bridge of the nose. See that? Very nice. Okay. That is definitely very precise so i'm gonna go ahead and go in i'm not gonna leave it baking too long because i don't want this to be a long video but i kind of want to just veil over the contour with the whatever's on the brush i cleaned it up with my switch duo color thing so i kind of just want to veil so there's no like sharp you know transitions or anything like that it's very very nice so far so good Good looking out, Jeffrey and Morphe. See how shizzled that is? Holy smokes. All right. So now we are going to do our brows. No, we're not because we got to try the um, highlight brush. And this is the JS4. And I do love tapered brushes like this for highlights. So I'm going to go in with Jeffrey's highlighters, only fair. I'm gonna use Siberian Gold and a little bit of Money Honey. Clearly, I love this highlight. So let's pick up some product and let's go in. This is a very, very nice, precise brush. Like I really love that it's not too big and it like places it right where you want it in the higher parts of your cheekbones. Super nice. You can wet the brush if you like, or apply it dry. It just really depends on how intense you want your highlight. So, super, super nice. 
I do like to use a little bit of a smaller brush for my nose, but we're just going to go in with this one. A little bit on the chin. And a little bit of Money Honey just to top that off. Not too much. Just give it that nice little green touch. A little bit on the bridge of the nose and the lips. Mm, yes. I'm going to go in with the sponge to kind of blend that in let it sink into my skin so there's no like harsh transitions there oh my gosh i love that wet look super duper nice Woo! yes so this is my first time using the james charles palette i just picked this up today too along with my jeffree star um x morphe collaboration and I'm super excited. The, the one thing that sold me on this palette was this one right here, which is in the color. Oh, excuse you. In the color Artistry. So I don't know how, what I'm going to do with this palette, but we're going to make something happen. But before I start, I also picked up a Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I've never tried this. I've never tried anything Morphe. I'm sure it's super dirty with powder. So we're going to go ahead and set the face. Since I'm done with the base, I'm not going to use any blush. I don't feel like using blush today. I just want to blend this out a little bit better there. And let's give this a whirl. Mm. Smells really good and it's a very, very, very soft, subtle mist. I don't know. Oh, it's dented. I don't know what, how it's going to last, but it feels really good on the skin. Really, really good. So not too bad. Okay. Okay. going to let that dry. Okay. Now we're going to go in with the palette. And like I said, I don't know what look to do. So I kind of want to set the lids with this color right here. And that is in the color canvas. So let's go in with brush number JS5. I'm sure, this is a blending brush, and I'm sure you can use this as a highlighting brush too if you like something more precise. So let's go ahead and set the lid, even though I've already set it with the setting powder, but we're going to go over it again. It's a nice uh, color to set the lid after you've concealed it. And I'm going to use my Switch Duo so I can use the same brush. So I can stick with these brushes only. Let's go in with the transition color. I think I want to go in with this one here, which is in the color. Punch me. I wish they were the no, names were there, but it's okay. Um, let's go in with this. See how it deposits the pigment. And so far, so good. Can't really tell too much because the colors are not that pigmented well the ones that i'm using they're not bright i should say but it's not looking blotchy or streaky or anything like that like it's depositing the color very nicely on the crease okay let's go in with another color to deepen that up a little bit i think i'm going to use this one here which is in the color mary this one here gonna deepen that in a little bit this is actually a first impressions for james charles palette because i've never used his palette before this is just in general i guess a first impressions on morphe because your girl has never used a morphe product a day in her life that color is very pretty Ooh. I cannot wait to unleash my inner artist with this palette, okay? And this brush is working very nicely. I'm blending that out. Look at that. Very flawlessly, very effortlessly. I like it. Too bad I didn't get another one. I don't know if they had them individual. I didn't check, but I'm going to use this one here. This is annoying <laughs> in the color Tune just to kind of blend that out on the edges out 
It's a very, very pretty um, color there on the crease. And then I don't know what color to put on the lid. I want to deepen this side up a little bit more with that same color. Sorry about the background noise, guys. So, so pretty. All right, so let's use a little bit of this orange right here, which is in the color 518. This one here. Just want to place that on the crease a little bit. Just a little bit. These colors are very nicely pigmented. They go on very nice. Excuse my ungroomed brows. Very, very nice. I'm going to go in with the brush that I use to contour my nose. JS6. And I want to place a color on the lid. I don't know what color to go for. I think I'm going to go in with... Hmm. So good. This one right here. I cannot wait to use this palette. I have a bride to work on this month and a baby shower. And... I cannot wait to use this on the gals. Super excited. Okay, this is nice to place the color. It's not as dense as I thought it would be for the lid, but it is a nice blending brush now that I feel it on the lids. Because I like more dense, like flatter brushes to add this pigment on the lid. Does that make sense? I'm going to go back in with JS5 to blend a little bit of that crease and to add a little bit more of color. So I'm going to go in with the same colors that I was using. And kind of intensify that a little bit more. Cool. I'm going to jump on now to do my eyebrows because I don't know what else I want to do with my lids. And we'll see what I end up. Maybe I'll just leave it alone or maybe I'll add something else. So I'm going to jump on to the eye eyebrows now, okay? Now, I have brush JS7, which is the spoolie, and the angled brush. And when I seen this in the store, I was like, oh my god, this is super thin. Like, I'm living for the density of this brush. Don't mind my hot Cheeto fingers. <laughs> so I don't know. I kind of want to go in with the powder. I kind of want to go in with this eyeshadow here for my brows. Let's see what the T is. That's the name of the shadow. I haven't used powder on my brows in a long time. So we'll see what it looks like. Brush it out first. Oh, this looks very pigmented. Let's see. Let's see. Oh yeah, super pigmented. Very nicely pigmented for a brow. I'm sorry, for a brown shadow for the brow. Okay, Morphe. I do have some Morphe. I lied. I totally lied. I do have a Morphe palette that I won. Um, from a makeup guru on social media, but I never used it. Wow, I totally just remembered right now. So I do own one Morphe palette that I never used. So technically I've never used Morphe, but I do own a palette. Wow, I can't believe I just, just remembered that. Okay, this this color is really nice for the brow. Very, very nice. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do this one off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, they're all done. Disclaimer, before you come for me, my eyebrows are never twins. Sometimes they're never even sisters. They're related, and that's all that matters. But I live for good eyebrow brush, and honestly, this is it. This is by far the best, one of the best, I should say, eyebrow 
angled spoolie brushes I've ever used. I do have another favorite, um, which is this Lime Life by Alcone eyebrow spoolie angled brush, but this one is just so much more precise. This one is really thin too. Very, very, very thin, so it gives you really nice hair-like strokes, but this one's just so small, super precise. I just love it. A very, very nice um, spoolie angled eyebrow brush. Very nicely done, Morphe. I absolutely love it. Thank you, Jeffrey, for throwing this in your collection. My eyebrows are just not the same, sorry. <laughs> it's just the truth. So that concludes the brushes so i'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of the face i did the most important things which is what i wanted to review with every brush the js1 js4 js3 js2 js5 js6 and js7 all of them are amazing brushes i will pick these up again and use them i'm not gonna lie loved the sponges absolutely love them i love that they expanded they are a little bit more dense than the beauty blender sponges but i absolutely love the shape of the sponge so i'm gonna go ahead and go off camera and apply my lashes see what I'm going to do with the rest of my eyes and um, I'll be right back to show you the finished product. Okay, so I finished the eyes. I did go in with the color ring light, which is this one here in the inner corner and on my brow bone. And I added a little bit of this color here, which is a highlight. Well, it's a color, but I used it as a highlight. It's called Face. I put some on top of the other two highlights that I am wearing from Jeffree Star. And it's a very, very simple, subtle look. I did go in with a little bit of the brown that I used for my eyebrows just to deepen up that crease. Um, and I did use the same colors that I used on my lid on the lower lash line just to connect that color scheme and complete the look. And I am going to finish off this look with a Jeffree Star lipstick. I wanted to pair this with the other lipstick that I have. That I cannot find. Or should I do this one? Which one looks going to look better? Nude or this one here? Hmm, I think I'm going to go with the nude. Um, Daddy and... Um, this one's I'm Shook. I forgot what the other one is called. But it's a little bit lighter. And I, wanted, I love pairing them two together. But it must be in my purse. Because I cannot find it. So... I'm going to use concealer to lighten this color up. This is way too dark alone. I don't like it. I don't like to wear it alone. I like to pair it up with the lighter one. So let's use a little bit of concealer. Same concealer I used the color pop. I'm just going to place that on the center of the lips giving a nice little pouty appearance oops you could use a brush or you can use your fingers mm. not the combination that i tend to use normally makes it a little bit grayish but we're gonna work with it <laughs> We can work with what we got. So that is the finished product. Whoa, I am glowing for the gods. But that is the final product. I need to do my hair. Let me do another spritz here. Mm, I love that mist. Actually it smells really good. And it makes your skin look super bomb. So gonna let that dry but you guys i think we are done just grab your sponge here and just dab that into your skin and i absolutely love the color ring light for the inner corner super super 
makes your eyes just pop. I love it. That is all, you guys. I am super, super happy with this purchase. I am not even going to front. Like, I wasn't too sure I was going to be this content. But everything I got today, the mist, James Charles palette. My knuckles just popped. The sponges, Jeffrey's brushes, everything is Liz Low approved. Okay. So this I love as well. I am so obsessed with this little bag here. Put it all in there. Fit your um, sponges in there. Oh, we can fit this in here too. Girl, hello. You are good to go. Your lipsticks. Hello, your lash glue. Girl, You there's a lot of room in here. I'm telling you. So, you guys, I'm super excited that I went out and got this. Um, I'm so happy that I found everything I was looking for. I know I'm a little late on the J James Charles boat, but at least I got it. The quality is super amazing. I do highly recommend that you go pick one up. It is $39. I forgot to say the prices. The Jeffree Star brush collection, just the brushes and the bag, was mm, 40 <laughs> Let me look. I know the sponges, the three, um, the three piece sponges, was sixteen dollars. The mist was also sixteen dollars, but the Jeffrey Star. Um, it's not gonna give it to me because it says to sign to sign up. They're they're not available online. I have the receipt right here. Sorry. I'm a hot mess. They're not available online in the Morphe store. So if you do have a Morphe near you, go ahead and check them out. They might have them in stock. That's what I did today. And they sure did have them in stock. $49 for the brush set. $39 for James Charles palette. $16 for the mist. And $16 for the sponges. Very worth it. I did use an affiliate code um, to get a discount. So my total was $116, which is not bad. So that is all. I'm very happy with this uh, overall quality of everything that I put on my face. So yeah, hashtag not sponsored. But if you want to sponsor me, uh, Morphe, I will be more than happy <laughs> to be an affiliate. Okay. But um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. And I will see you guys on my next video. I gotta go. I love you guys. Bye.